fancy buttons. Your fancy buttons made us mute. GP show. What, what did you forget to do? I forgot to hit the record button. Woohoo! GP show. I need my anima. I'm gonna randomly babble for a bit. Woohoo! GP show. Although I do dig Venom. I will tell you. I do dig Venom. More than I was expecting. Uh -huh. Okay, so before we actually so play the okay. <laughs> No, yeah. you were just gonna say what I was what I was gonna do. So what were you gonna we're do? Good. <laughs> Talk about what you have clicked on yes. the notes. <laughs> now before we get into this next trailer, so there's two different ways that I've been thinking about playing this. Because I've already watched this trailer, uh -huh. clearly. And one of the things I find hilarious is that um one of the things I find hilarious about this trailer is that uh, the company that put out the trailer, which is Warner Brothers, has less views on its own trailer than four other channels, IGN oh, and three yeah. other trailers. The, yep. And so in my head, I'm like, oh, OK, they're they're showing something different than the trailer. No, they literally no, just repackaged this trailer and put it out. My mind got blown when I saw that and when I heard that. So um, we're going to watch it and then we'll have a quick discussion. Uh, oh, and this is a carryover from last week, everybody. Uh, last yes, week we said is. we would be showing you this this week, and so now we're not lying. So, everybody get ready. Here we go. Cool. Thomas? You seem particularly triggered right now. Can you tell me what happened? I've had dreams that weren't just dreams. So much happened right there. Like crazy. We don't use that word in here. And I love the addition of Neil Patrick Harris to this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Best part of Harold and Kumar. Yeah. <sighs> Here's a copyright strike for you. Have we met? Oh, you guys have shacked Why up and some, you yeah. <laughs> Isn't this like Jefferson Starship or something like that? The band? So wrong. Am I wrong? Is it Janis Joplin? No, no, no. You're right, but you're so wrong. You have it correct, oh. but you're wrong. Starship Jefferson Airplane? Jefferson Airplane. Jefferson Starship something. It's Jefferson Airplane. <laughs> the original creator of the song is Jefferson Airplane. Gotcha. that matters to you is still here. I know it's why you're still fighting and why you will never give up. You don't know me. No? back to where it all started back to the matrix yeah. I just want to stop it on the matrix screen where's the matrix where's the same matrix it. right there yes. So Sweet. I've got so many theories on this. I think I could do an entire like 20, 30 minute video. Yeah, just I have it. some theories so, too. Yeah. I'll let you go over your theories because mine, like, I don't want to drag the show okay. down too much. So, so. I, I think um, even though it's a different actor, I think that's a different incarnate of Morpheus. So I think okay. it's Morpheus from like a agree. previous timeline. I agree. Like, and it's the Matrix remaking him. Mm -hmm. Um I think the reason why uh, Neo and Trinity don't know each other is because at the end of uh, part three, Neo gets dragged back into the Matrix. And I think 
the blue pills that Neil Patrick Harris is giving him um, is keeping his memory suppressed, but it's not working. So it's there's. I'm on the same page with every of... single thing you said because they show the one scene where he's like taking three and four and five of them. Yes. So. And same thing with Trinity. I think they went they went back in as like a truce, like, you know, I don't want to remember much. I want a good life, and I want to be back. So and in... God, I'm with you. I was going to say there was one scene that they when I said a lot happened. Oh yeah. There was. Like you flash, saw, flash, 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 flash. yeah, you saw Neo if you actually stopped it and you saw him without eyes, like his eyes burnt. So mm-hmm. I think that was Neo on a table and this is not a different reincarnate of Neo. This is still him because from the end of three, they took him back into the system. I agree. Like everything so, you said, I'm a hundred percent on the same page. So and then uh, okay. bald Neo, I think could be his because he he keeps on looking into the mayor and stuff like that so i think bald neo could be like the first ever neo that was in the system okay that that's seen. the only part that i lost you on and i was with you okay. all the way up until that point so okay. what i think it is is that um neo at the end of three gets put back into the matrix by the architect so the architect yeah, yeah. as a punishment or a reward depending on how you look at it Puts him back yep. into the matrix and, and gives I him think a good the life. Architect guy was the younger guy that we saw at the end, just in a different form. Oh, let me the get back that... to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's okay, funny cool. that you said you should say that. <laughs> so um, on uh, the so my feeling is this: at the end of three, they put him back into the matrix. Yes. Okay. Um, if you uh, see the Matrix, the original Matrix, uh, Cypher, who is the, um, the turncoat, he basically says, yeah. I just want a good life. Just put me back in the Matrix. Right. Just take away yeah. all this bullshit. I don't want to know nothing. So I think I agree with you 100% that that's what they did. They just put him back in the Matrix. And they give him yeah. a little blue pill to suppress his anti- matrix tendencies because he is an original he's a hacker he wants to get out of the matrix like that part of his brain needs to be suppressed so take the blue pill and then you'll forget everything you wake up tomorrow and everything will be as it was so i agree with you 100 percent. so you ready to have your mind warped yes i think that neil patrick harris is the architect i think that he is the new incarnation of the architect and the reason that he is so hands-on with neo is because his entire world can be taken down by this one dude that he has therapy with once a week. Yep, Secondly, I can see that. Uh, the woman that was in the bookstore that hands him the book is Safi, the little girl that you the see girl, in the yeah. third one. Yeah. She is that the makes new, sense too. she's the new um, Oracle because the Oracle was going to yep. pass away because the right. Oracle says like, she's the new one. So obviously she knew that she was and dying out. One, one thing that I, that I like about, um the matrix throughout all of it you can tell who's good and who's bad by colors so yes, she wore do, do. like red glasses and yeah. i'm like okay so she's someone that knows right and if you see Neil patrick harris he had the cat and yep. he had a uh, blue on him like a blue and for anybody glasses. that doesn't know the matrix the cat is associated with glitching and so yes. basically anything that happens repeatedly is a glitch and that is the matrix trying to work out any bugs or kinks now um so the next char- the next thing is when you saw the old man in the mirror yes i think that that's neo's actual age and he is seeing his actual self if he was actually at in the matrix for real and he had aged up oh so that's gotcha. actually him seeing himself inside the matrix as himself okay. in the, how he would that be old sense. trinity yeah. is the balancing of the equation, same with Morpheus, meaning that yeah. when you go to the other ones, they say that the system needs to balance the equation and it has created things to do that. Morpheus is one of the things that does that. Trinity is one yeah. of the things that does that. So Morpheus and Trinity were going to exist in what would be considered the sixth or seventh generation of this. Neo wasn't yes. supposed to be around for the sixth or seventh no. generation because all previous... Um, once they call them the one that is the anomaly the anomaly the one they use different names they're always killed or they are removed from the equation when they reboot the system for the seventh generation 
So wait for it. The guy that you said you thought was the architect, do you know who yes. I think that is? Agent Smith? That's a great guess. No, I think it is actually, <laughs> I think it's the Merovingian. So the Merovingian, oh. uh, who is a big part of the second and third films. Now, here's the, th the only reason I, I'm skeptical as to whether it's the Merovingian or not. And here's the reason. Merovingian loves to swear in French. And that dude had no French oh, accent. Gotcha. So that's the only yeah, thing no, that makes me go, mm, maybe okay. not. Maybe not. Yeah. Um, but uh, basically... It's just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Right. So this is the second, sixth or seventh rinse and repeat. The only thing right. that's different in this rinse and repeat is that um, Neo is alive. And I think that was uh, all previous ones, I think, get killed. I think that's part of the deal. Uh, right. Or I, if I they get do this. get put back in, they're easier to control than Neo is. You have to remember that Neo is at a level of matrix control that no other one ever had. Period. Right. Do Do you think? Here's something and like off on a like a little tangent since we're doing this. Totally. Do you think this is Neo's world? No. No. No, no, no. I think this is the sixth or seventh incarnation. I think this is the system reboot. Because basically they say, listen, so the way that it works, and this is um, classic computer behavior, you basically keep putting programs into a system. And yeah, at a certain you point, your it. system yeah. becomes so bogged down that it doesn't work properly and you have to reboot and start all over and then you can right. rebuild again. And they describe that's how it works. And they call it a, a cascade failure. They, in the movie, they call it a system failure. But it's actually what's considered in computer technology a cascade failure. And a cascade failure is just like dominoes falling. So Neo is the first domino to fall. And then other dominoes keep falling. And the one that I always think about when I think about this is the kid that actually gets himself out of the Matrix by himself just by believing in Neo. He's the really annoying character in the second and third movies. He's the one that actually oh, yeah. in the third movie I kind of dig because he becomes like a decent guy. But in the second movie and the third movie, it's like, dude, why do you even have this character in there? But if you watch Animatrix, which is the animation of the Matrix, yeah, they yeah. have a whole entire one based on him. And he is the first, what they call self, uh, self realized character. Meaning yep. when Neo got out of the Matrix, they had to hook him up to that machine. And then once yeah. they hooked him up to the machine, it gave him a tracker and a tracer to find out where he physically was in the big giant world of all of the different people. Do you know what I mean? Yep. So you have all these Sorry people that are generating dog. electric. No, no, no. Are. It's totally cool. So <laughs> you've got all these people that are there. They need to go, oh, okay, Neo is here. And then they have to fly to where yeah. Neo is because he gets flushed into the, into the waste system and they have to pull him out of the waste system. That... It, and they also say that Neo's old. Like, they normally right. don't take anybody out of the Matrix if they're beyond puberty-ish. Or, like, a little bit, like, 18-ish. Right, And right, right, Neo right. Yep. clearly is in his late 20s, early 30s he, yeah. when it happens. And they say they normally don't do it. And the reason they don't do it is because the body basically atrophies and they can't rebuild the muscle. Because they have to basically... You've never used them before. You've been plugged into VR right. for your entire life. So back to what I was saying, as the system starts to fail, people start getting out more and more and more and more and more yep. to the point where like it goes from being 0 0.00001 to being 1% to being 2% to being 30%. And that's when they have to start it over. They're like, too many people don't believe in the Matrix anymore. We need to reboot it. And that's what happened right. in the third movie is that they were going to go down, kill all of the existing humans, except for, what was it, like 30 or 40? And then they were going like to yeah. rebuild everything off of the 30 or the 40. And I think that Trinity is just a genetic version of Trinity that's been Trinity in one, two, gotcha. three, four, five. But this is the first yeah. time with neo that she fell in love with the one and the one fell in love with her and that's the only difference between neo and all previous incarnations and so when neo runs into her i don't think that's trinity i don't think that's the trinity that gotcha. you and i you and i right, know right. from the other movies i think that that's trinity reborn just like that was morpheus i agree with you 100 percent. Right. but it's young morpheus because yes. he's searching for the one you have to remember that 
in the movie they say Neo's been searching. I mean, um, Morpheus has been searching for Neo forever. That's the way they say yes. it. He's been searching for him forever, and he just hasn't found him. And then he finally finds yes. the one. And they have tracer programs running, and they're like, "Is it this guy? No. Is it this guy? No." And they don't right. show you any of that crap. See, that's part of the problem is that a lot of people think that Neo was like the second or third guy they found. I have a feeling Neo was like. 375 on the list you oh, know yeah. what i mean but the difference is that certain things the stars aligned as they would say the well, oracle told trinity that right. the one will be found and he will be your one neo was told that he wasn't ready yet to be the one and he took that as i'm not the one she never says that right. she says you have the gift but you're just not ready yet and yep. when you're ready maybe you will be the one. And he was when he finally 100%. was ready. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. the thing is that every other one wasn't able to do the stuff he could do. Like, I think he basically went much higher than anybody else as far as a game goes. Oh, I agree. If it was a game. Yeah, um, I'm that. trying to think if there was anything else that you didn't touch upon. Oh, and they, mm. um, the white, uh, when they open the door and there's all yes. that white, that's basically the corridors between places. So somehow yeah. they've learned how to use the corridors between places, which they didn't know about in Matrix 1, 2, and it wasn't right. until 2-ish, 3-ish that they yeah, found yeah. out about them. And that was from the key, the key master. So those are all yeah. my theories on it, and we'll see whether any of them are true when it comes out. And well, Lana and I, I Wachowski's love, done a great job, in my opinion. Right, and I loved it because they started with calling him Thomas. So it, right. it's like... Mr. Yeah, you're Anderson. in this world. Yeah, yep. you're in this world, Neo, that we're not wanting you to know that you're in this world. And I have a feeling that he has a regular job. Like, I don't think he's a programmer anymore. Uh, I think no, he might be a retired, I, yeah. a retired billionaire. I think they picked a life of luxury that they could kind of guide right. him and keep him from having anything bad happen. I think 30 to 50 years have passed. What? I think... Go ahead. Okay. So, in in... One of the scenes, because I've seen pictures, mm -hmm. um, they show um, they show younger him in like Matrix One or something coming yeah. out of. So what about if all that is like, and the movies are like his celebrity and he's an actor? I didn't follow that. <laughs> really, you don't think so? No, because, no, 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 no. I didn't follow the theory. Like I was trying to understand the okay, theory. Okay, so, so, so one he's of the, just an so actor. One of the theories is because. When that one guy said, I want to be someone important like an actor. Oh, yeah. What yeah, about yeah, if they yeah. did that to, to Neo? And he's oh, an actor. oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, totally. And the previous totally. Matrix like, movies before the reboot are actually playing. So no, he's like, these no, are no. fake. I, I don't buy into these that fake. part. No, you see, I buy into the fact that he's, in he's an actor in this movie. And what I find interesting is that you can take the entire John Wick trilogy and actually put it in the Matrix universe. Meaning that if oh, yeah. he actually is an actor in this movie, then all of the John Wick films could have been Neo being right. an actor in John Wick films. Do you know what I mean? Well, they like, I was thinking the same. About, yeah, pretty much. And like the thing yeah. is that it's an interesting concept because if you think about um, John Wick films, it's an alternative reality anyway. Like they have right. an entire world. Which is basically what yep. computers do anyway, is create new worlds. You know what I mean? But yeah, no, my feeling is that he's 30 to 50 years older than he was in the third film. This next version of The Matrix is about to collapse. A new one is about to rise up. Right. And it's not going to be Neo. It's going to be somebody else. Um, but right. I have a feeling that he starts to get the same problems that he had 30 to 50 years earlier. And his brain starts to malfunction, and the blue pills aren't working anymore because it's. That's why he's taken so much of them. Yeah. Right. And I think yeah. it's basically like any computer thing. I think that there's a flag that gets tripped for the one, and he still has that flag. You know what I mean? In the back of his brain, yeah. he still has the flag that he is the one. And when the flag gets tripped, there's going to be a second one, and I think there's going to be Neo. I think that there's going to be somebody else named Neo. And I don't know so, if it's going to be Neo, like he's actually going to use the handle Neo, or right. if it's going to be somebody else. But they might not have found him yet. Because again, Morpheus is young. Of course. 
So before, yep. like Morpheus was an old man. He, like if we look at the Morpheus they show in this, and then we look at the Morpheus from number one, I would say there's at least a 20 year gap. At least. Oh yeah, 100. percent Yeah. So he's searching for Neo for 20 years. You know what I mean? So the yep. Matrix knows it's going to collapse because it collapses every time because they've never built it correctly because they really right. don't know humans. They don't understand humans, and obviously that's where the Oracle comes in. So those are all our theories. No, uh, I, uh, put, yeah. Put your theories I, in the I comments agree. below, and uh, <laughs> when the movie comes out, we'll all be proven wrong. You know what I mean? But honestly, we all will. Yeah. Like them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But at the end of the day, I really believe that when he looked in the mirror and he saw the old man, that was his actual age. And most people would guess that that dude was like 70. You know what I mean? Like that dude that you saw yeah. in the mirror was him 70. Although I like your theory on it, which is um, that it was... That's Neo number one. Right. Right. He was seeing back in Trying time. Trying to communicate. Back to the original yeah. one. And that would be interesting like, too, because they never discuss what happens to the one after the reset. Right. They never do. They just it, said, your job is to pick, I, what was it, like 30 of this and 30 of that? Yes. And then yep. we reset it. And um, so. Because what about if there's that glitch in the system and Neo number one is trying to contact Thomas? Right. And right. that's, that's what's opening up all of his memories of what's going on. The other thing that they use in this as well is they use the mirror from the first movie yeah. almost like a portal between places so i'm wondering if when they walk into the hallways between places if they come yeah. out of the mirror when they open the door on the other gotcha. side like yeah. that's my guess as mm. to how it happens but i mean obviously we'll find out when the movie comes out I mean, and and what's cool is right away like in the first sound that you hear you're like oh we're watching a matrix movie right. like this right is you matrix. can just tell I yeah want, yeah they've done such a good job yeah like, I think in Matrix 1, the thing that I really loved is, like, the Rob Zombie song in it. Oh, if that God, yeah. Rob oh, yeah. Zombie and the way that song, they kicked it in, the way that they kicked it in, too, was perfect, because that's the right. scene where he gets introduced to the White Rabbit. He gets told on yep. the computer, follow the White Rabbit. He sees the girl with the White Rabbit tattoo, and then a second later, Rob Zombie kicks in. And it yep. kicks in hard. And it's, a, if, it's if, like a... Poof. I would love to hear that same song in this movie. In, me too. In like a me fight too. scene or something. Oh, me yeah. too. And the thing is that <laughs> I remember when Matrix Two, Three, and the two and the game came out. They basically right. said that the Matrix trilogy made a billion dollars by itself because of that. You know what I mean? And right. at the time, people were like, "Holy crap!" Oh. I mean, these days it's not a big deal so by comparison. There, there was the Matrix video game. Yes, I, I was Italian. watching some it's awesome something that um, they said because Morpheus died, the Lawrence Fishburne character died in that video game. That's why he's not in this movie. Well, because they actually showed him dying. Okay. Well, the thing about it is that it, <laughs> none of the characters that we know of from the first three films are supposed to be alive anymore anyway. Right. Meaning that yes. if the architect has his way or had his way, he would have killed all humans. I think that the architect made a deal that all the humans that were alive and left in the sanctuary, since Neo saved all of the... Right. Neo saved the entire Matrix. So the, the architect course. gave him as a gift, none of the people that are in Zion will be killed, but none of the people in Zion can ever go back into the Matrix. I think he blocked all of them from ever going back into the Matrix. Now, that's an interesting question, whether any of them got back in or not. You know what I mean? Like the well, kid that I was talking about and stuff like that. Wasn't, wasn't Neo able to go in at, without any connections? Like he could just go in at any time? No and like yes. that's what made him the one? No and yes. Meaning that okay. he, he was able to get it. Okay, so at the end of 2... He holds his hands up and he zaps all of the uh, squiddies and they all fall yeah. on the ground. He basically becomes his own EMP in the real right. world. Like, that's the thing. He pulls his Neo yep. skills out into the real world. He does it. Now, the problem is a split second later, he ends up in the Matrix. But he doesn't end up in the regular Matrix. He ends up in the way station, which is the in-between spot between the Matrix yeah, and right. what they yep. call the... Uh, what is that called? Where the architect lives. But basically, he ends up in the way station where the Merovingian has to get him out of. 
So I agree with you, he can get himself into, but he can't get himself into the matrix matrix. He can only get himself God, into yeah. what I would say is the loading program. So he can, he can mentally go, okay, I'm going to go into the loading program. And in this matrix, I 100% believe that he's, he's a battery again. He's totally a battery. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, my question, though, is if they get him out of being a battery, whether he can survive or not. Because he's going to be 70. Right. I'm guessing he's 70, maybe 80. Yeah. Because that's really, they talk about time between cycles. And I think it's between 50 and 100 years between cycles. So we'll see. And again, I love the Matrix, yep. so I'll be watching it well, in, in spades. And I would love for them somewhere in, in, in all this. Yes. Like they introduce, like he dies and they introduce a new Neo. So they keep mm -hmm. this going. Yeah, like, no, I totally am on the exact same page. My only thing is that I am totally in love with Neo. You know what I mean? Like I, I just too. love yes. Neo, the character. And it's weird because for a while I was not a huge fan of Keanu because like I liked Speed. I thought it was good. And I liked um, Point Break. I thought it was good, but it wasn't yeah. like, oh my God, I got to go see Keanu in Point Break. And right. then when he became Neo, like John Wick came out and said, of course I'm going to watch John Wick. You know what I mean? Right. And, and there was no thought about it. Uh, I think Bill and Ted was my clincher for me being a Keanu fan. But then after <laughs> yeah. that, though, he made a bunch of films. I'm like, eh, I don't really have any, no, no skin in this well, game. Well, Constantine was fantastic. I See, loved I wasn't a huge fan of Constantine. Yeah, I was going to say, we've talked about that before. Yeah. It was okay to me. You know what I mean? It wasn't. Oh, it I wasn't, loved it. Yeah. There were, that could be there one were of those movies with, where they're like, if you have to watch a movie every single day, mm -hmm. Constantine would be on that list. Yeah, it's I just funny. loved it. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of mm -hmm. Live, Die, Repeat recently. Cause, oh, oh, and that brings me to Live, Die, Repeat, Edge of Tomorrow. So the actual name of the film is Edge of Tomorrow, um, Live, Die, Repeat. Yeah. So they did a little colon thing in the middle. Yeah. But I swear, and I, I could not get any verification, but I could have sworn when... Edge of Tomorrow came out. There was another film that had a very similar title to Edge of Tomorrow. And I know for a fact on the on the poster, it was Live, Die, Repeat. Like huge font. Right. And then at the bottom, it was uh, Edge of Tomorrow. So a lot of people have said that Edge of Tomorrow was overshadowed by Live, Die, Repeat. And so they ended up remarketing the movie itself to live ed i think if you go to rent it it's live die repeat you know what i mean but edge <laughs> yeah. of tomorrow is in there somewhere i don't i don't really know but anyway back next movie next 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 we've talked about the last one enough thank you for watching this segment of the tp show please follow us on fruit lab don't forget we have a podcast on your favorite podcast app this has been another installment of the TP Show.